If you haven't already, consider becoming a Patreon. And remember, guys, for just $5, and if you DM me on Instagram, you get a shout-out in the next video. Yee -yee! Hey, guys, Stephen Turner here with Turner Fishing. So, I've got 14 crappy. I need six more. And they pretty much just kind of slowed down, shut off. So, what I'm going to show you all today is I've been getting bit at different depths. So... What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie a double jig rig. That way I can fish two depths at one time and increase my chances of catching a fish. Now, if you've got real finicky fish, I wouldn't suggest this, but if you got fish that are thumping pretty good, it, it's honestly a pretty good way to catch them. You can put two different colors on, you can put the same color, different style. It, it's pretty good. I'm gonna take a 164 ounce jig head and I'm going to take a 132 yeah, they're not that much bigger or smaller than the other one I'm going to get a long tail jig I'm going to get another different color jig with the 164 ounce jig I'm gonna do a Palomar knot. Which you, if you don't know how to tie a Palomar knot, link's up there. I got a video on it somewhere. But I want a long tag. So we're gonna go in here a pretty good bit. <clears throat> we're gonna go over here and mess with George. I'm gonna go back through. Tie your overhand knot. Put your jig through the loop. Like so. We're going to pull that up and good. So, this is what you'll have. Right there. Alright, now you're going to take your line. And you're going to go on the right side of it and then come through on the left of the same eye that you just tied that way when your jig's in the water it's going to sit up all right now i'm just going to take and do a regular clinch knot on this one all right okay. there we go the final product you got two jigs on the same line now you gotta remember that one jig, I mean, it's, it's a lot heavier than two jigs. So, let's see if we can catch one. Let's see if we can catch one. Good one too. <clears throat> Look at that slab, guys. Got him on the bottom one. If he don't jump in the water. Oh. There you go. Real finicky fish. Gave him two options to eat, and he chose the bottom one. You know what a rock feels like. You know what a brush pile feels like. That's just the name of the game. The more experience you get, the better you are at it. Got another one on it. We caught him on the top one. 
<laughs> awesome. One thing you got to watch out though is they will wrap your line all up around them. <laughs> all right, we caught one on the bottom and the top. So let me make sure this guy is a keeper. Then we just need four more. We'll be headed to the house. Oh yeah, he's a keeper, he's a keeper. Now these fish quit biting. I tied this rig on. And I've only got it like a foot apart, but they want they wanted it like I would get bit sometimes on the fall, then I would get bit sometimes when it was really deep. So with this double jig rig, I got like the best of both worlds. I mean, it's only a foot apart, but I mean, that's, that's a whole strike zone in my opinion, that it's apart. These fish are really deep. They're sitting like right on top of the brush. Let it go all the way to the top of that brush and just sit it there. And with this double jig rig, unlike when I'm regularly vertical jigging, I'll sit there and do this all the time. But normally you ain't got to do all that. I just had a bite. But normally, I mean, just your hand being on your rod, you know, the little, you're a human, you're going to shake. Normally gives it just enough action that you don't have to do much. Now I will pop it like every 15 seconds but that's mainly just to check if there's a fish because that one like that like that one didn't even bite i believe that's on the top jig too nope he's on the bottom g oh no my jig's on on the boat <laughs> oh you do have to watch about that there we go that's another keeper on the bottom jig let's go three more Oh, barely hooked, barely hooked. Good fish though. All right, three more. One of the toughest bites to learn I mean, anybody can catch them and they thump, it's thump, you know, oh, set the hook. But when they just put it in their mouth, and you're able to, I mean, my finger on that line right there is my number one, number one game changer. That's what separates me from a lot of people, being able to catch them. Is that one finger right there and that finger I mean it's got years and years of training of what is it's supposed to feel like and a lot of you bass fishermen that watch my channel you know what I'm talking about you throw the same Texas rig for years and years and years if something don't feel right you know you know what a rock feels like you know what a brush pile feels like that's just name of the game the more experience you get the better you are at it